Welcome to the NVMet tutorial. Now, what is NVMet and why we use this software? It is a software which is mainly used by architects and architecture students to calculate the microclimate of a city down to the square meter. It allows you to create sustainable living conditions in a constantly changing environment. By this, it is possible to specify surface types and building materials as well as vegetation on walls and roofs. To scientifically analyze the design measures on the local environment and help mitigate factors such as urban heat stress. This software module is used worldwide for environmental analysis and urban planning from the tropics to polar regions. By the end of this tutorial, we will be able to analyze the environment in terms of solar radiation, wind condition, and urban environmental, etc. Now to install this software, we're going to open a browser and type NVMet in the search bar. This shows us the home page of the developing company of NVMet. Now if we scroll down, we can see how to use NVMet and where we can use it. How NVMet gives us the measured data of the impact of buildings on the urban climate of tomorrow. Now if we scroll down, we can see some features of NVMet shown in the home page. Now in solar analysis, you can analyze about shadow casting, reflection analysis, high resolution module. Now in pollutant dispersion, you can analyze about air pollutants, holistic microclimate simulation, user defined traffic emission profiles. In building physics, you can analyze about facade temperature, exchange processes with green roofs and facades. Now in green-blue technologies, you can do vegetation modelings, green wall modelling and water mesh simulation. Now in wind flow, you can analyze wind speed and patterns in complex environments, effects on flow field. Now in outdoor thermal comfort, you can analyze about heat and energy flows, diverse biometeorological and thermal comfort metrics. Now in tree biomechanics, you can analyze about individual tree geometry, simulation of wind stress and tree damage. And in the end, in humidity, you can analyze the feedbacks. Now if we scroll down, we can see NVMet gives students license for graduate projects. Now on the top right corner, we can see an icon that is by now. And if we press this, it will go to our download page. Now if we scroll down, we can see the license types and their prices. Now if you want to use the software for several features, you can buy any of this license. Now we're going to show you downloading the free demo. Now if we click on it, we can see a tab that is NVMet Lite license for first users and demonstration purposes. Now that is a free license, but there are some restrictions. That is, there are limited domain size, reduced output and analysis option, no parallel simulation possible, no commercial use, etc. Now if you click on the download button, the file will start to download. Now choose where you want to download the files and hit save. Now after the download is finished, open the file in folder and click on it. Now 
there will be a box and click install anyway. Now after accepting the agreement, click next. Now browse where you want to set a file to save and click next. Next and install. After finishing the installation, go to the window and there is an icon of Envimit. Now if you click on it, you can see a headquarter panel of Envimit. Now there are several items here. Module, Spaces, NVGuide, NVCore, Biomet, Leonardo, Exit, etc. Now if we click on the data and settings, we can see there are projects, workspaces, DB manager, Albero, forcing manager. Now to add and delete some of the tools, you can go to the folder of Envimet that contains these tools of the headquarter panel. Now we're going to create a workspace. Now if you click on the project slash workspace, you can see a table that says where your current workspace is. Now if you want to change this, you can see on the top right corner and click change workspace. You can change where you want to save this workspace and hit OK. Now to create a new project, on the down left corner, there is a button that says create project and click on it. Now, after clicking it, you can see a new project showing on the left top. And now you can give the project a name. I'm giving project 01. And then you can write some description about the project. I'm going to use introduction. Now hit create and done. Now here is how you can download and install Envimet and create a new workspace in Envimet. We are going to continue the tutorial in the next videos, so keep watching. Now in the next videos, we will learn about the modeling for Envimet.